what are we doing? No. <laughs> We're making Bucatini inspired by the bear. Hi, I'm Nicole and I love TV. I'm Jordan and I like food. So this series is TV to Table. This episode, we're making buc bucatini. Bucatini, like mushroom bucatini. Yes. Um, Inspired by the bear. It ends up on the final menu. Yeah, and I chose this one. Well, I chose, like, they don't really say don't. which bucatini it is. It does and look I, pretty simple. Yeah, I tried to look for, like, a super simple one. Okay. That looks like, because I didn't see... Like, bucatini is a very nice, lovely noodle. Yeah. That's like spaghetti, but it ha it's a little bit thicker, and it's hollow in the center. And there was actually, like, a bucatini shortage, like, a few years ago, because they only, I think they only make it in Italy, and they are very specific about what they qualify as good, proper bucatini. We're going to start off with our mushrooms. I got some lovely shiitake mushrooms. Um, fun fact about shiitake mushrooms, um, the stems are useless. I don't even use them in stock, really. Like, I don't eat them. I never eat them. I think I actually only put them in stock. These are just fast. I'm just gonna smash these garlics. Root stemmy, this little part, this little part, and then smashing them and putting them back in the container. Sweet storyline that was in season two is that Tina, mm -hmm. I did not like her in the first season because she triggered a lot of my food service trauma um, by how she was acting with Sydney. But I like I like the storyline in season two. She gets to learn how to um, be a sous chef, like really trained. And a big part of that storyline also is that Carmi gets her a really nice knife. That's great. So nice that she tried to give it back and he was like, absolutely not. This is your knife now. Oh, mm -hmm. that's really nice. You just like watch her get very excited and like, yeah. Uh, where in the first season, she kind of had the attitude of, uh, I've been in this restaurant definitely longer than this young, basically fresh out of college student what can she tell me and she kind of learns like oh i can learn from this person and this person just wants to make me better so and she really does care about food and serving people that's great i uh i get that white onion mm -hmm. didn't do a whole lot because we have the shallots mm -hmm. and there's a difference in the onions and i didn't want to do too much of either so i'm doing a balance of both difference as in um, flavor, saute the onions, and we're gonna do onions, shallots, then garlic, then mushrooms. Mm. Can't watch the bear because it gets too, it's too chaotic. <laughs> it's way too chaotic for me, and I'm like, I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed watching and this show. And you only made it to like one episode, I think. Yeah, I did. Or maybe I only. Two. You were like, oh, I recognized. Um... Maddie Matheson. Yeah, from. YouTube. I was watching him on YouTube mm -hmm. um, with Vice City mm -hmm. and he was doing food stuff for them and I absolutely love him because he's super funny and like the character that he like I saw clips like the clips I saw of him I was like oh this is like a more mild version of who he is. Which is so funny. Had us reenact Carmi and Homegirl's little romantic scenes. In season two all they do is stare at each other. All they do is stare at each other, kind of whisper. It's so like, Carmi's already like a moody guy. And she's just like, yeah, I feel you. you're, you're a moody little guy. Uh, so I found those scenes ridiculous. And, of course, there were already so many noises and I was ready to eat that because the bear has all of the noises. The bear, they freaking scream. But, um, I had the most shaky cam. And I was like, I'm tired of cutting around this. I'd rather film completely again. And here we are, filming <laughs> completely again. <laughs> but, you know, we got a lot more going on in this, um, bucatini, bucatini mm -hmm. than we did the first time around. So, I always think... Try, try again, guys. 
that's try some, again. That's something to learn from us. But it's also something to learn from like cooking food and stuff. Like that's what you told. Like I didn't even know that they were redoing the whole kitchen and the whole. Yeah. I knew they were doing the menu over again. Yep. But I had no idea about and yeah. adding. I added also some centrellas. Mm-hmm. Um, which they're they're so lovely looking. Yeah, they're, they're, they're lovely. Closer to the... Are they centrellas? I can't remember the name. I just know I wanted that mushroom. Why did you want this mushroom specifically? So they're nice to look at. Oh, okay. And it's a different mushroom taste. I think I'm gonna let these go a little bit and then I'm going to um, add in more butter and the garlic. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. since I chopped up some of the garlic, I don't want it to burn. Because mm -hmm. garlic burns very easily, y'all. Sure. Just a little of red chili flakes. I'm gonna let this cook down some more. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Kind of wild. My mom did make gumbo for me growing up. That is something on the to-do list. But I was like, etouffee seems a little easier. Yeah. Just because my mom always made like shellfish gumbo. Right. And it's just like, it just feels like a lot. Oh, that just triggered a memory. There was, so growing up, uh, mm -hmm. my mom befriended co-workers who also like had a son my age. Mm -hmm. They came over to eat gumbo one time. Tell me why. He he tried to open this crab, pulling it against the back wall and Excuse left. me? Exactly. My mom Excuse was, me? Yeah. Get out my house after you clean my kitchen and my walls. No, it was in the like dining room. Clean my dining room. <gasps> oh my oh, gosh. That was wild. That was what wild. Type, who, what type of... Where are these Someone people? Who's not eating crab. It's Pennsylvania. Listen, still, I just don't know. Like, that was wild. I was like... What you... How old? We were... I added a little bit of chicken bouillon powder. I'm going to add a little bit more because I forgot wine. But it's okay because you're basically just wanting to add flavor into the liquid. I do need to just keep white wine, cooking wine. Long no, day. never. Okay, never cooking wine. Don't use cooking wine because you only use <sighs> wine that you drink with. Cooking wine is just nothing. Sure, sure. I used to keep it on deck because I was making mad uh, pastas with it. And I, I lived, I survived. I mean, but did you? I did. <laughs> did you <laughs> say that? I, I lived to tell the tale. Were you living? How do you feel that the bears? The people in the restaurant are actually very judgmental of brunch. Um, we're not going to be a doing brunch. brunch or working at a place that does brunch. And they were like, fuck brunch. Listen, and I was like, I don't I don't get the hostility. Brunch is a beautiful time. You don't have to get up early and you can have shrimp and grits or you can have fried chicken and mm. waffles. And that's just a beautiful yeah, thing. Why I, hate on that? Maybe it's the crowds. You tricks. know what? It might be the crowd that makes yeah. it awful because people can be awful. They can be. They, they can, can be like, out. I think it's that's also why I, cause like I'm a very polite person. Oh yeah. But I don't know if I could be that polite. <gasps> I did not know you can do that to my measuring spoons. Why did you do that? Cause I don't need to put all of those in the dishwasher and clean them. I just needed that one spoon. I'm gonna just clean off that one. You learn something new every day, folks. Never be ashamed. Have you? That's the first and only time you've done that. Yeah. I've never used those before, but I didn't want to get a you've big spoon. You've never used my measuring spoons before? Nope. I just grabbed one that would be small enough to get out more chicken bouillon. Oh my gosh. Or this sauce. All right. You're wild. Um, okay. Less of that butter. That was only about like two tablespoons of butter, too. I love that. All right. Here goes some half and half. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of light cream. I didn't do it the first time just because we didn't really need it. No. Nah. But it's I'm. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. We're trying it out. Technically, it's supposed to be whole cream, but I don't usually use cream in dishes mm -hmm. because usually I just add more butter and I use like the starchy starchiness mm -hmm. of the water. Um, from the pasta. Here 
Here we go. Oh yeah, this is looking really nice. Yes, honestly, yeah. a little paprika. Too. I got a little addicted to sun-dried tomato. Oh yeah. Um, pasta. All right, I'm gonna test out the noodles. Also, do not throw noodles up against the wall or anything. Just take one out. I don't think people actually do that. They do that, and it's um, it's absurd. Do you know anyone who's done that? I used to do that. <gasps> one for the center. Okay, not cooked all the way. Yeah. But it's not, you don't want it cooked all the way because it's gonna finish in the sauce. It'll be finished, yeah, it'll finish in the sauce. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I cut off a side like this for when I'm cooking in sauces. That way I can go back and do slices for my tea. And I can just put half of that in my tea. Makes sense. Gonna lower this heat. Great, great, great. Already done. I'm gonna get a mug for extra pasta water. All right, I'm going to add in the parm. Oh yeah, that looks great. a little bit more cream whenever you add cheese and cream add a little bit more of like your base liquid just because it will group together and it'll become more solid and less loose what's considered your base liquid in this um it's actually like the chicken stock or the wine oh okay i added a little bit more cream just because i could already see it seizing up it's one more noodle Moving it around is giving me the looseness that I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not even going to strain it. I'm just going to take it straight out and put it directly in. It's okay. Just take that little that nuts. That was bananas. <laughs> we just. Are we turning off this water now? Yes, we are. Thank you very much. Why is the oven on? Because we have rotisserie chicken that we're just going to, we just got it from the store. Got it. And we're just going to eat it. Okay. On the side. It's just in there staying warm. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We did it. We did it. We did Really, it. you did it. I just talk at you as you cook. I mean, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Like a true interviewer, I ask questions. Mm-hmm. And what an interviewer you are. Thank well you. done. All right, let's take this first bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Good job. Thank you. I'm going to eat some of these mushrooms, though. I know. That's what I was thinking. It's nice and creamy, but I love that the lemon comes through. Just a little bit. Yeah. You only need a little bit of that acid, that flavor. Yeah. So, yeah. 10 out of 10. I think this could be served at the bear. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, leave in the comments any re food show recipes you want us to tackle next. If not, we'll come back at you with an idea of something of mine. Because 
That's usually how these things go. I don't watch TV. I watch a lot of TV, so I will be keeping close attention to what people are cooking. Have a good one. Have a good one, everybody. Yay! Bye.